Welcome back to Corner Cafe, and this is the nonprofit business feature, and we have our friend John D. Young back in the Corner Cafe studio. Hey, John. Hey, John. Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? Awesome. 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 Good to have you back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Thank you for being available. Yeah. So that it we means can invite either you. you like me or you're glutton for punishment. That's what it is. <laughs> we love both. <laughs> we can go either way. <laughs> you're doing so many amazing things right now. One in which is um, you're helping out Ukraine. Yeah. I mean, the Lord is has... Um, Let's clarify. It's not me. It's it's God's been doing some pretty cool <laughs> stuff. Thank you, Rich. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, we are. Um um, some of my team members are leaving this Friday, uh, oh, April wow. 29th, and then uh-huh. I'm leaving May 2nd. Wow. wow. And we're going to Poland, Warsaw. Now, mm-hmm. we hope we can cross the border. We don't know. Right now, they're shooting missiles all in Lviv and everywhere else in East Ukraine. Now, they're starting to. The Russians are sort of, you know, invading those central and western Ukraine. Mm-hmm. And um, we want to be careful because I'm also bringing some of my friends along. And right. So absolutely. We don't want to be in danger. Yeah. But, yeah. My, um, we need to be praying for you. Definitely, yeah. Definitely Thank definitely you very much. You, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and what, we're, what we wanted to do is uh, determine whether or not um, if there was a need in water. So I have a water filtration company called Vivo Blue, and that's yes. a for-profit manufacturing company. And we manufacture what I think and believe to be the best gravity-fed water filtration system. Um, and it's a mobile system, and then we just developed a sort of like this backpack bag, bladder sort of thing that is going to be really easy for people to um, just get water from. The nonprofit of Vivo Blue is Water for All. We just believe bringing mm-hmm. uh, clean water, um, clean water, and the living water at the same time. And that's it. Bring clean water to the people so they can receive the living water. And so Water for All is going there. Um, thanks to a bunch of donors to go there to deploy thousands of filters already to the Ukrainians. Yeah, because wow. wartime, mm. that's one of the things um, that it's hard to get is water in yeah, war. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, UNICEF just released a report uh, late last week, so it might have been even Thursday or Friday, um, just a few days ago, and they said over 6 million people right now in Ukraine have no access to clean water. It's terrible. Oh, wow. And it's going to get worse. And what was that number again, John? 6 million. 6 million. Right. Wow. So we forget Ukraine is 45 million people. So when you hear mm-hmm. about, oh, 7.5 million refugees at the border, that's a big number, but yeah. that leaves... If I do the math correctly, a lot more. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 30, uh, 30, I just lost my math. But over 35 million in yeah. the country. And right now, UNICEF is saying about 6 million are not. They don't have access to clean water or they don't even have access to water. So Russia mm-hmm. has already um, targeted um, all many of the water um water facilities in yeah. Ukraine. So they're shutting off their power, their gas, ele- you know, electricity, all that stuff. So you have no internet, you mm-hmm. have no access to internet, um, you have no access to electricity, and you definitely have no access to water. So the Ukrainians then started heading toward the wells, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. But the Russians uh, discovered that they were going to the wells, and so they uh, started putting dead bodies in all the wells. Uh. Uh, so now, you, yeah, yeah. So we're getting reports from Ukraine daily about what's going on, and with the people we're partnering with on ground to deploy these filters to the people. See, a yeah. lot of mm-hmm. we wanted to make sure there was a need for water. And we discovered that we wanted we wanted to make sure our filter was a solution. And so we're using we're working with Convoy of Hope, other organizations like Operation Blessing, help people, and. What we're doing is asking them, you know, is there a need? And yes. Mm-hmm. Does our filter fill that need? And they're saying absolutely. Yeah. And then we're asking them, are you able to deploy them before we start raising funds? Right. Yeah. And so we just started raising funds because I said, yes, we can deploy your filters. Wow. So yeah. um, educate us on how they go about deploying the filters. Is that... Um, army going with them in there or how does that work right so we have um it's it's kind of confidential if i told you i have to kill you i'm just kidding (laughs) (laughs) we are we are using multiple um um, resources let's say that Mm -hmm. um some of it including we'll say uh military Mm -hmm. to get these filters in there we're also Mm -hmm. using traditional ngo Um, pathways as well like we're partnering really close with convoy of hope we are just great friends with them they love us they've been purchasing our filters since the beginning of our company they love our filters so um 
That's it. So what we have to do is we have to get the filters into Poland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once we begin to Poland, they get distributed into the different warehouses. So now what we've identified is we've identified warehouses in Poland. Mm -hmm. We've also identified warehouses in Lviv. And so we're going to be able to take the uh, filters, the product from Poland into Lviv or keep them into Poland. Mm -hmm. And a convoy's got a few other places and we have some other people that have places to put them right okay. and then from there uh the teams that are volunteering or you know that's their job they're bringing the filters to the most needed areas okay. yeah. so you got people receiving filters in the mountains yeah. you have people who can receive filters uh right up at the front line so we're discovering mm-hmm. or we're learning that there are um ukrainian soldiers dying of dehydration mm-hmm. because they're, yeah. they're they're drinking bad water yeah. oh yeah right because they're drinking it from the mud uh, you know the puddles of mud or whatever right. they have to do they're actually drinking with straws to try to just get the top mm. of water oh and if they're getting sick now what happens is they get a disease yeah. and then they die of dehydration we know that right. is you know and, and contaminated water is one of the biggest killers yeah. in the world and we yeah. don't want yeah. that to happen here with these not only the warriors but the families right yeah I can't mm-hmm. imagine trying to fight I and know. you're sick yep. and oh, you're yeah. dehydrated I mean, and exactly. everything's yeah. going on right yeah. so, so we know that you can't live without air for th- about three minutes you're dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you can't live without water for three days. Right. Yeah. So all the aid in the world going into Ukraine, yeah. bless everyone's heart, is amazing. Yeah. But without water, yeah, your absolutely. aid won't last three days. Absolutely. Right. So the first thing we need to do is they have air, which is good. The yeah. first thing we need to bring in is water so they can survive. Right. So yeah. the aid that's brought in medicine and all the other things, food and blankets, actually work on the Ukrainians. So right. we have to we have to sort of change our mindset as Americans. Yeah. We always have to bring in water first because right. you can't live three days without it. Absolutely. Right. So. Yep. And John, with all the organ- other uh, organizations that are there, uh, now that I guess it somewhat simplifies you when you guys come in of where you can go because they've already set up some bases here and there yes. so that makes it easier for you guys and you're not like a ground zero right. trying to say okay which direction which what's the, what's the where's the need most first so they've already analyzed all of that and that you guys come in and you're able to distribute the water with uh, precision accuracy and speed because exactly. of those organizations I mm-hmm. love how you say that that's what we're going there for is we're yeah. going to test the accuracy, yeah. the precision, and the speed. Because yeah. everyone says they're doing it. I want to be there yeah. right. to know it, Witness feel it. it yeah. and, 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 and then, yeah, it's not a simulation. It's a real activity that yeah. we and my team have. Yeah. And a couple of my donors are coming. Wow. So they get a chance to go, wow, my money is now being used. So, right. you right. know, with uh, with uh, the nonprofit Water for All, um, 100% of every dollar donated is going to get getting that filter wow. into the hands. Now, that includes shipping from our warehouse in the Philippines. That right. includes yeah. going through customs. Mm-hmm. That includes the gas for the vans. It includes whatever it takes yeah. to get that darn filter to that family. Yeah. Right. And so we're there to document that, mm-hmm. hear stories, and come alongside the organizations and the Ukrainians to, to save their lives and give them life-saving water. Yeah. And our goal is to go back every quarter to get reports and film. I'm a filmmaker and mm-hmm. photographer so film and do mm-hmm. photography and all that stuff um, and we have a media crew that's going to follow us wow. 24-7 as well it's a Ukrainian media crew Wow! so oh, wow. they're doing all the photography and all the filming and they're mm-hmm. going to be able to take that camera deeper into Ukraine where we can't go Yeah. and uh, we'll see that filter land um, in a home or cool. in the woods or wherever wow. they're right. going to deploy them. them. Yeah. Wow, that could be very yeah. dangerous, yeah. So in terms of the device itself, how um, easy is it to use? We can explain to our listeners, okay, it's like, okay, great, you, they got the filter, <laughs> yeah. but what does yeah. this look like? Right, it's, it, it, it's hard to describe it without like holding it. So mm-hmm. what we use is this technology called hollow, hollow fiber membrane technology. It's a barrier type of technology which allows only the water to clean water to go through like a straw. So imagine if you had a straw and you put a bunch of micro holes inside of it, microns. We were 0.1 micron, right? Mm. So just to give you an idea, a COVID virus is about 0.2 to Mm -hmm. 0.5. So COVID can't go through our straws. The only thing that can go through our straw is clean water. Mm -hmm. And some other things that really don't harm you, but um, we're keeping out bacteria, cysts, protozoas, and all the things that actually 
cause disease and death. Mm -hmm. So we use medical grade hollow fiber tubing membrane into our filter. Now the filter can sit in any type of water. So you can have mud, water, you know, lake, river, pool, any type of water in yeah. there. And as it filters through the tubing, it comes out of spigot. <laughs> wow, okay. So what we did for this particular cause, because we know that the Ukrainians have to be mobile. Yeah. Right. Definitely. We created a backpack bladder. Wow, okay, it's great. 10 liters, so that's two and a half gallons of water, mm -hmm. right, which is enough for a family to have, you know, for at least a half a day or a, or a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can just go to a river or stream or to the street or wherever they get it. Even if they're piping water through some uh, uh, municipal center, that's probably destroyed and it's just not great. Yeah. But they can get any t kind of water. They can just go to a lake and just scoop 10 liters into the bag and put it over their shoulders. Wow. wow. And mm -hmm. within seconds, mm -hmm. all you have to do is open that spigot tap and that clean water comes out. What's great wow. about it's it amazing. though, Rachel, is most, if not all, water filters that are portable like this require mm -hmm. an extensive difficult cleaning mechanism to clean it right ours is so simple all you have to do is rinse the filter wow okay. if you wow. can rinse it yeah. in dirty water or clean water which really? is hard to imagine yeah that's yeah. really hard to imagine because like, then my question would be well where do they get the clean water it's like i need the clean water right this you don't need this. clean water to clean the hollow fibers because wow. all you have to do is get the uh contaminants off the fiber okay so imagine if you just have to agitate the filter enough to get the contaminants right. off the filter that's all you have to do yeah and so what it does is it allows the filter to last longer because it's mm -hmm. not getting clogged and you, mm -hmm. you know every day or every other day you're just rinsing it, right? right. That's it. Yeah. And uh, so we, what we also know about war is once, it, once a country is destroyed, how long does it take to rebuild that infrastructure? A oh, long gosh. time, yeah. Right. Yeah. Very long time. We're praying that the war is over soon and yeah. seven and a half million people are going to go back home to what? Yeah, right. exactly. No homes, no water, no electricity, nothing. Mm -hmm. So our filter lasts for years. What it right. allows a Ukrainian family to do once we give it to them now, mm -hmm. they get immediate water. They'll mm -hmm. have water within 30 seconds. Right. That's amazing. And then they'll have it up to three years oh, through wow. that rebuild wow. of the infrastructure. Yeah. So that's pretty powerful. So for our mm -hmm. listeners who say, hey, first of all, I want to support what you're doing mm -hmm. and possibly also get this for themselves oh, yeah. and, and when they get it for themselves am i correct in saying that they also support what you're doing yes yes mm -hmm. so we have a we sort of like the um um, the Tom's model a little bit. If you purchase from our retail store off of Amazon, a mm -hmm. uh, portion of that, uh, the proceeds go straight to Water for All. Water for All then takes that money, and when we re occur enough, we go start sending filters along the way. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is right now, because we are new and still a new company, uh, right now we're saying that if you buy a retail off our Amazon, it gives one family or one child water for a year. Oh, wow. Okay, for now. Yeah. yeah. Right? We would love to get it to where it's one-to-one. -one. Right. Right? That's what we want to do. We yeah. really want to get it one-to-one. -one. And then um, right now you can just donate straight to Water for All um, at Water all.org we didn't we didn't quite get the four in the right. URL so we, <laughs> so we have waterall.org hey if you're the water for all guy who owns that URL <laughs> just want to let you know there's nothing up just let me have it that'd be yeah, awesome right. <laughs> give, give it to him. Be there's nothing there be generous yeah, yeah. there's nothing there but um so, but that's it. So you can go straight to waterall.org and mm -hmm. donate, and then, um, or you can just buy on Amazon. I think we are live right now. Mm -hmm. That is, that is. Uh, you have to do. We're like on page six. I think is what my CFO said oh, today. Okay. He said if you look at Vivo oh, Blue awesome. Water for All, we're like on the sixth page or something like that. Nice. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. I feel... I know what you mean, Rachel. But it's more like... I feel you, Jamie. I can't put it into words. But it's more like... Wow. You know, I couldn't have said it better.
Tune in to the Corner Cafe Radio, where we share the story and heart of an artist with Music Variety. Saturdays at 9 p.m., 95.3 FM, 1220 AM, KLDC. Welcome back to Corner Cafe, and this is the nonprofit business feature, and we have John D. W- D. Young back in studio. Yes. <laughs> you guys can't get rid of me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just love your heart and everything you you are doing right now. Yeah. It's huge, and to bring water to um, Ukraine. Yep is going to be very impactful. Um, in our last show, we talked about mm-hmm. what you do and and uh, how the, the device works and stuff. But we right now want to learn how is it that you came to do this <laughs> and tell us a little bit about your background story. Yeah, thank you, um, Jamie and Rachel, for having me again. I just um, I love your show. And we love thank you. you for we your love support. You. Thank you guys you so great much. Work, bro, seriously. Yeah. You guys are awesome. I love the people you have on here. Um, big shout out to my buddy, Kirk. What's yes. Up? Yeah, Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kirk. <laughs> we'll have love to have him um, in studio next time. We'll have to do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah get all yeah. of us in here. Kirk, yeah. Cassandra, all of us, the whole <laughs> yeah, show. And the whole team. And my wife. Yes. And your wife, yes. We yes. Would that would be a good time to do that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, I, think, I think it all starts with... Um, the grace and the love and the mercy of God. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I don't know if many people know this. Maybe you know I've told my testimony a few times in like private areas. Mm-hmm. But I was a uh, uh, I'm an orphan from the streets of Suwon, Korea. So I was found on the streets. Mm. Okay, around the age of four, four and a half, and so I'm an orphan. And uh, then I was adopted around five and a half or six. We really don't know how old I am. Uh, <laughs> but I have no parents. I don't have uh, an identity in that sense. And so the Lord plucked me from the streets of Sioux Wan and then, you know, brought me into a good Christian home. I discovered who Jesus was and built a relationship with him, gave my life to him as my Lord and my Savior at 27. Amen. Amen. Fast forward really quick. I'm like 87 now. <laughs> Fast forward really <laughs> quick to a place where I end up, you know, serving widowed, orphaned, and the, and the impoverished. So um, I've been doing mission trips uh, since 2007. I've been to o- almost 40 countries. Wow. And probably led almost 30 short-term trips in that time mm-hmm. and learned and just God was u- shaping me along the way. And so when we developed this filter, um, it was to serve the poor, mm-hmm. right? I mean, my wife said when we were in India, she's like, how crazy is it that you're serving you? Right. And that's yeah. powerful. I'm like, and, and I was standing there with, you know, all these little orphan Indian children at, in, in Calcutta. And my wife is the one that sort of like saw that. I didn't mm-hmm. see that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just doing my job or whatever right. it is. But mm-hmm. I didn't see that. She looked back and said, this is you serving you. Right. Mm-hmm. How cool is that? Yeah. And so when we think about what's going on in Ukraine and um, I was pondering upon this a little while ago and saying, I don't know of anything that creates widows or, 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 or orphans and poverty faster than war and right. or genocide. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I was just in Rwanda in February. You know, it was my fourth time being there. I went to the genocide museum. I mm-hmm. saw the widowed and the orphan just created right there. And many of them slaughtered at the same time. Mm-hmm. And I saw poverty increase. And it wasn't until someone came in and said, no, enough. Yeah. Same thing with what's going on with Ukraine right now is as as this war is going on, the men are going to war. Yeah. The women and children are running. Mm-hmm. Right. And when the brother, uncle, husband, father, whoever dies, mm-hmm. widows and orphans are created. Yeah. And as rockets and missiles and bullets are flying through the air, destroying the infrastructure of every little village, home and town. And city that just creates poverty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now you got women and children running for their lives, not knowing they're ever going to see their father again. Right. Yeah. So. Wow. Very sad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, just the practical step of bringing water obviously is going to be huge. Um, huge. And as we discussed in the last show, yeah. you said it takes about three days. Nobody can live longer than three days without yeah. water. Yeah. So. I mean, you can't live three minutes without air. Then the next thing is you can't live three days without water. You can live longer without food than water. So, Mm -hmm. you know, with all the humanitarian aid, praise the Lord that there's hundreds of organizations over there doing their stuff. But if they have water, the medicine works better. If they have water, the food works better better yeah right. and all those things and so you got you got young men trying to save their country and they're 
dying because they're dehydrated. Mm-hmm. Right. It doesn't matter how much food they get. Right. Yeah. Or the blanket that or we the blanket give or we whatever. Give or, whatever. or the we weapon. Have. and Yeah, or the yeah. gun. The gun does nothing without a, without someone utilizing that to, to, to protect yeah. their, their family and right. country. So we need to give them water. Right. Yeah. First and foremost, get the water in there. And we don't want to leave 20 billion bottles of plastic in their country either right, right. that's right. a good point yep. yeah yeah so we can just give them one yeah. filter and it lasts for years right yeah and there they go mm-hmm. what's, i them. think what's beautiful john also is that uh, water's life water is life mm-hmm. and what you're giving them you're giving them an opportunity to survive uh, the next two to three days, because once again, like as we know, the statistically proven two to three years. Uh, well, no, I'm saying statistically oh, proven that exactly. wa- with absent of water, you only have three days. Yep. Yep. What you give them, you add, you give them life, you give them an opportunity three, four years down the road. Exactly. And that's an amazing accomplishment because. Uh, as we know, none of us, uh, some of us can't even go without our Starbucks coffee, you know, without, you know, and, yeah. uh, but, 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 but people that, that the necessity of water is right. so important to the community, the villages. And, and, and i I watch a lot of the, uh, the animal kingdom Yeah, and you always see every animal, no matter what, uh, the, the, the prey yep. or the prey preyed upon, they always right. come to the water hole. Mm-hmm. Always to the water hole. Water is life, and that's what you guys give yep. them because everybody has to come to the water hole at some point. Absolutely. Yeah. They have to come to the water. They have to sustain life in yes. order for them to run. Yes. Right. Sustain life for, the, for them to even, you know, um, prey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so when we think about, you know, the partnerships that Water for All is having, one thing that I think is really unique is this is a um, – an interesting thing that the Lord brought is we're partnering with Kirk Humanitarian. Mm-hmm. So Kirk Humanitarian is a nonprofit out of Salt Lake City. They've created some of the best prenatal vitamins. Mm. Oh, wow. So information we're getting from Ukraine mm-hmm. is all the pregnant women are having miscarriages. Mm. Oh, wow. Because of the stress and yes. the yes. running and yes. maybe yes. the abuse. No nutrition. Yes. No nutrition, no water. Well, the hospitals are probably Hospitals are out. Out, yeah. yeah. You got you no, you no utilities. They're cold. Whatever is going yeah. on is creating so much stress that miscarriages are becoming yeah. an act, actual issue, possibly suicide yeah. for that. Because they don't want their child to be born in this yeah so we have a wonderful partnership with kirk humanitarian and they're offering us free prenatal vitamins to come alongside the water for any oh, pregnant wow. woman yeah, yeah. Great. so to give them nutrition and so vitamins through that along mm-hmm. the way as well and um, we're working a partnership with biblica mm-hmm. to get ukrainian bibles along with the water right. so now oh, that's you, have, powerful. you have clean safe water and then mm-hmm. you have the living water coming right. on the back side and that's wow. really the whole point of what yep. you're doing is yep. sharing um Jesus. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, so this is amazing. So how can our listeners help support you? Um, Starbucks coffee. No, (laughs) (laughs) just kidding. No, no, no. The the best way to support uh, the the cause that we have right now is um, go to Mm waterall.org and donate. Waterall.org, correct? Waterall.org. Yep. Very good. And um, donate. You can donate right there. And every dollar spent in Every dollar given for the donation goes mm-hmm. to deploying that filter. We don't have any admin fees in water. Right. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Wow! What a blessing. Puts yeah. the filter in the family's hand. Now, mm-hmm. it, it, we don't know what some of the costs are. That's why it's a little bit more than um, like just getting a small filter or whatnot. Because we now have shipping and right. custom mm-hmm. fees, mm-hmm. and we have to pay for the gas for the van. Right. To right. get it there, uh, right. we have no idea. And so what we're doing is, is putting every dollar to, like, we need to get that filter to that family, that child, that widow, that orphan, wh- whoever yeah. it is. Right. And so. um, what, what we discussed on the last show, too, is you guys are actually going down there. So it's not only, hey, yeah. this great idea, but yeah. you're taking oh, yeah. a team down there. Yep. Yeah. You're going to see how it looks on the ground. Exactly. So what we want to do, like you said earlier, Jamie, is we want to be precise in our deployment. Yes. Yes. So we're going there. Um uh, my CEO of the company, Vivo Blue, is going there um, to look at the logistics, mm-hmm. see the warehousing, see right. the shipment come in, do all that. We're going to be filming and taking photos. And then I'm coming just a few days later as he builds the logistics. I'm going to come, and then we're going to start deploying filters. So we'll know mm-hmm. how they come in. Mm-hmm. We'll know the organizations we're partnering with. Right. And then we'll see them get in the vans, in these right. little cute little mini vans. They look mm-hmm. like VW vans. And we're going to see them cross the border. Oh, and then wow. we're sending a photographer and a videographer across the border with them to make sure we get the footage of that uh, of that uh, filter. 
filter reaching yeah. that family. Wow. And pray for them, listeners. Oh, yeah, pray yes. for them um, as they do this very heroic thing. Yes, very heroic. That's a great word, Rachel. Yeah. Another thing, too, someone may be saying, well, how do I keep up to date with this in the story? You're on TikTok now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just started a TikTok against... Uh, against your will. <laughs> against my will. My my, uh, my team said you needed to do this, but my TikTok is John the Water Guy. I just started it. Um, this Saturday is when I'm sort of going to mm-hmm. launch that. But we have an Instagram and a Facebook, Water for All International. And then we'll be posting stories, and I'm posting on Instagram to just keep everyone updated and documenting what we're doing. And so when, I'm, when I see the warehouse, I'll be like, this is, here I am right. in Poland yeah. in the warehouse. Oh, and then when we send the filters into Lviv, because we have warehouses there, yeah. uh, the c- cinematographer and the photographer will be able to take photos of, oh, now they're in that warehouse right. and off they go. And so. how cool, you know, when you give, yeah. you can see live yep. um, yeah. how your yeah. money is going exactly. to this organization and really changing lives. So yep. that is amazing. One more time, your website. The website is waterall.org and our social media is Water for All International. And then the TikTok is John the Water Guy. Well, I'm going to have to get on TikTok because I've been been kind of avoiding TikTok, too. But I'm like, no, I'll just get on just to follow John. Well, I I think one of the things I was talking to, one of my uh, TikTok, um, I would say, like, almost like mentor. You call call them TikTokers now. TikTokers. TikTokers. Yeah. (laughs) I have a mentor. She's in college. Yeah. And she Mm -hmm. she wants to come alongside. And she's like, you know, um, you know, John the Water Guy, which I thought was a silly name, but it actually works. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. She yeah. said, it, "What what you can do is if you just keep telling the story, keep telling the story." Yeah, I said, "We can, we can, can we, can we uh, turn the heads of mm-hmm. the Gen Zs and Millennials to mm-hmm. do TikTok for good?" Right. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that be a cool thing? I, yeah. I don't mind a couple TikTok dances because I'm a dancer. It's fun to watch. <laughs> right. Yeah. But can we do TikTok for good? Turn the yeah. culture around. Turn the culture yeah. around. Yeah. Come on yeah. now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> listeners. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, John. We're going to have you back um, hopefully very soon, and you can just keep us up to date on the yep. story and Absolutely. everything that's going on. So. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, we're going to go to a break. Stay tuned.